Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be diving into a very important topic and that is, are seed oils like corn oil, sunflower oil and soybean oil safe for human consumption? There's a lot of debate on this topic online so let's dive in and see what the research has to say. First, let's clarify what we mean by seed oils. So these oils are extracted from seeds like soybeans, corn, and sunflowers, and they're commonly used in cooking and processed foods. One of the key characteristics of seed oils is that they are high in omega-6. They are a polyunsaturated fatty acid, often abbreviated PUFAs, which are essential for our health as our body cannot synthesize these naturally. However, where the issue arises is the proportion of omega-6 to omega-3 in the modern diet. So why does this matter? Well, omega-3 fatty acids, which are found in foods like fatty fish and flax seeds, are well known for their anti-inflammatory properties. Omega-6 fatty acids, while also essential, can be pro-inflammatory when consumed in excess. The typical Western diet is heavily skewed towards omega-6, which can lead to nutritional imbalances. Research suggests that a high omega-6 to omega-3 ratio may contribute to chronic low-grade inflammation, which is linked to conditions like cardiovascular disease, type 2 diabetes and even certain types of cancer. So what about the processing of seed oils? Most commercially available seed oils undergo heavy refining processes, which may include bleaching, deodorizing, and the use of solvents. This can degrade the oil and result in the formation of other harmful compounds, including trans fats, which are linked to cardiovascular disease. In addition, refined seed oils, such as soybean and sunflower oil, are more susceptible to oxidation when they're exposed to heat. This process generates what's known as free radicals, which can cause damage to our cells and contribute to aging and disease. So with that said, for high heat cooking, it's generally recommended to use oils with higher smoke points, such as olive oil or avocado oil, which are less likely to degrade under heat. But that doesn't mean that seed oils are problematic cold pressed and minimally processed oils tend to retain more natural antioxidants, which can offer a number of health benefits. Typically, the temperature during the extraction of cold pressed oils does not exceed 120 degrees Fahrenheit, preserving sensitive nutrients and flavors. They also have a better balance of omega-6s and are less prone to oxidation compared to their refined counterparts. Some examples include olive oil, like extra virgin cold pressed, coconut oil, cold pressed virgin or extra virgin, avocado oil, flaxseed oil, and other unrefined sesame oils. So should we avoid seed oils altogether? Well, not necessarily. The key is moderation. Nutrition experts do tend to agree that maintaining a healthy omega-6 to omega-3 ratio is important. So rather than completely eliminating seed oils, it might be simpler to balance your intake by increasing omega-3 rich foods, such as fatty acids, chia and flax seeds, as well as walnuts to name a few. Additionally, switching to minimally processed or cold pressed seed oils and using them in moderation for non-high heat cooking can help reduce the potential risks. The modern Western diet often contains a relatively high ratio of omega-6 to omega-3, with a typical ratio being anywhere from 10 to 1 to 25 to 1, and this imbalance may contribute to inflammation and health issues over time. The ideal ratio is thought to be closer to 4 to 1 or a 1 to 1. So balancing omega-6 intake by increasing omega-3 rich foods like fatty fish, flax seeds, or even just a supplement can help achieve a healthier balance. So in summary, seed oils are inherently bad, but the way in which we consume them does likely matter. Focus on a balanced diet with a variety of healthy fats and choose minimally processed oils when possible and avoid over consuming omega-6 rich oils like corn oil, soybean oil, sunflower and safflower oil, just to name a few. Small, thoughtful changes can have a big impact on your overall health. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on future content. And if you're looking for more resources to level up your fitness and nutrition game, then head on over to my website, beabody.com. Here, you'll find plenty of free information and resources to support your health and fitness journey, including details about our monthly research review, Be A Brain, which is packed full of practical takeaways from the latest studies in nutrition and exercise science, one-on-one -on -one nutrition coaching tailored to your goals, customized workout programming, educational books, and so much more. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in our next video.